Bennett had been Teddy Kennedy's uh, PR agent um, when, when he slid off the bridge that night in Chappaquiddick, we wouldn't even have heard about it the next day. And part of that is because Bob knew how to do something really very simple, which was tell the whole truth, tell it quickly, tell it in great detail, and be done with it. So that it don't leave any questions unanswered. Because when you, it's the one question that the reporter from the Herald or the Globe asks you that you don't have an answer for it. That's, where that's the chink in your armor. And Bob had that ability to find a way to present all of the features of that <coughs> event in a way that, oh, okay, I understand, it was an accident, and on we go. Now, but for that event, but for Bob's being at the wrong place at the wrong time, Teddy would have been had the real benefit. And, I, and I've never forgotten that story, because in my life, doing what I do, you know, things don't always work out, but there's always a way to re, re-display and redefine. And with that, I'm going to read you one quote, and Barbara Mulville, who's here from UMass Boston, from Bob's days, will remember this quote. I didn't bring my glasses either, Barbara, but it's a wonderful quote about of what people do that do what Bob do, did for a living, um, which is public relations. It's really public relations is, forgive us in this room, it's manipulating the public to hear what you want to hear. And that's not a bad thing, because sometimes that's what we need to get moving forward. Um, public relations specialists make flower arrangements of the facts. Think about that. Facts are out there. They're all truth. You can't deny the facts. But when you make a flower arrangement of those facts, you place them so that the wilted and less attractive petals are hidden by the sturdy and beautiful blooms. And Bob, to the day he died in January, could do that. He always found a way to find something in you, find something in the world that he could turn around and say, yeah, I may be dying, but look at this. Look at that sunset. Look at my wonderful house in Nagagua. Look at all the friends I have. Look at the family, these grandchildren that are just extraordinary. We love more deeply than you'll ever know. Um, he was a lucky guy. And uh, as, as the president said well, long ago, life's not fair, and, it, and it's not fair that he's gone. Really so thank you. <laughs>